This is your captain speaking. Buckle up for mild Z forces. You were Zoe, you were dead I, uh, uh, so I, I, I got a quick question for the Zoe main there. Yes. Who is your therapist? <laughs> because that's, that's the, the only thing, thing that can come, come, come to my mind, mind that makes me think that you can feel that, that, that playing Zoe that much. It's just a so much hate. <laughs> Hate? Hate has always been around. Enough to choke and break others. <laughs> We've endured much of it. I think it's just like a baby. It's like a semi-consensual version of kicking toddler when you play Zoe. Hatred was never our way. Those around us lashed out, but we remained calm and in control. It was easy to deal with them without raising a fist. Speaking to them without malice may have gained the wrong results, but we stay true to ourselves. Through it all, we remain kind. Refuse to become like them. <laughs> they hate us because they can't understand us. We have come far from what we used to be. As a midling, we had to adapt and face opponents much stronger and faster than us. But strength doesn't win all battles. The smarter fighter can overcome all odds.
surviving, holding on for a second more could turn the tide for help to arrive. Through adaptation and trust, we persevered through hardship. Those that dismiss us lack the time and effort to achieve something greater. We have showed our worth over time, have we not? Allies in the field come from all skill ranges. Some that need little help at all. But time and time again, we began to watch and learn. When we should help regardless. Sometimes we couldn't save them, but we still had time to avenge them. But in time, we learned when to act and when to save a life. Until finally, we were confident in our actions. We watched and learned how people move to be able to predict them. To them, we were cheating. To us, it was a matter of time. By watching, learning, and waiting, we gained strength through patience. Facing the realities we are in is sometimes the hardest part. As a mage, it was clear that we couldn't fully escape being physically weak. So instead of fighting it and accepting weakness, we chose to embrace it and make it one of our greatest strengths. To accept being a mage is to know we need others to aid us to become stronger. We do what we can to support our allies. Through cooperation, that is. But it was through focus and patience we planned our attacks. It would eventually become clear that we were a mage, <laughs> and that our power was to be respected. Hey, it's all okay. In which case, our drive to help and support others pushed us to use our powers more effectively. Through cooperation, we became focused. Through focus, we gained power. Through power, we gained the confidence to do the impossible.
Through confidence, we earn respect. This gave us an aura of trust that our allies could see, and at times, choose to follow. Follow me. It was the respect and acceptance. We earned our own integrity as a mage. Because of our battles, we came to develop a sense of right and wrong. There are those that will fight with honor and respect. Then, there are those that wish to mock and disgrace others. When we found such people, we gained the desire to put them in the ground, either personally or having a partner to bring forth our judgment. Things, doesn't. The bitter souls of man will find anything to grasp at to claim it isn't their fault. This was a poor Braves that had a rough team and a toxic mid laner who blamed him for it all. So we continued to administer punishment just to make her loathe existence. No cry. A wave of satisfaction fuels us seeing them suffer, knowing how much pain they have caused others. This is how we learn what it meant when karma strike. And karma this battle was us being the distraction. And our jungler being the executioner. Thank you, Mr. Rage, for being my holy gun. <laughs> but in most cases, we take matters into our own hands. We would see allies fall and feel a drive pushing us to avenge them. But hostility isn't one-sided. Sometimes your own will display such behavior. Whether it be joking or the real deal, people take such actions 90% of the time as hostile. And then the wave of karma deems whether judgment is needed. And my jungler was judged, friend or foe, all will face karma's wrath one day. Seeking to avenge and respecting karma's will instilled us with a sense of justice. We've learned a lot, but we also gained some foolish traits. The mentality of high risk and high reward. Pushing our body to its breaking point.
as the battle senses grew, we could read the flow of the battle easier. The enemy would rush us after we suffered heavy losses, so we had to be strategic. To gain the magical reinforcement from a void beast, that's the accurate choice. But we didn't want them to have it. We wanted it for ourselves, or we would die trying. Such actions that gain us the title of Master Thief. As foolish of a risk it was, it paid off. This only inspired such behavior to continue. To prove ourselves, we wanted to be able to fight up close and during any pain possible. When a window of high reward opened, Sometimes, harvest is poor when we fall. But failure itself is a teacher, teaching us our limits, our strengths, and our weaknesses. And our actions saw prior would cause all of that witness to it to remember us by it. It was through such actions we learned what it meant to be brave. But we also learned the shadow of bravery is recklessness. We must remember the line between the two. It didn't take long for us to see our potential, how far we could go, what we could do. With everything I've learned, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, all doors open. With control over chaos, my possibilities were endless. Our speed, endurance, accuracy, timing, everything improved, showing us how to win. To show off and shock the world. The excitement, the thrill of it all. We just had to keep running and take the leap without fear. Everything flowed together, every moment a dance step that we took the lead. Every action filled with the confidence to know I would come out on top. Despite everything, we remained ourselves. We grew wanting to give better, to push our limits. Against the giants placed before us, we did not waver. Instead, we were filled with determination. 
We managed to complete almost all our goals this year. We surpassed one million mastery and went further to reach two million. Even against terrible matchups, we stayed determined and we made it to gold and almost made it to plat. And we can climb higher, so we can't quit now. We can do this. We just have to be brave. The world needs our kindness. We won't break. We will persevere. Patience will help us see the way forward. Our integrity as a mage is at stake. If we are to go out, make sure to do it justice. Not like this. Never give up. Stay determined. Already? When did I pass out?